The city of Edmonton set to host the final game of week three in the Canadian Football League. Let's just fly cleanly, far side of the field. 46 yard kick taken at the 12. A little nope. bit of room here, nope. a little bit of Go. space here for Sims. Sims takes it out to the 50, tries to find the edge, forced out of bounds at midfield. But the best kick return of the season for Edmonton. Also in the slot to the wide side right of Cornelius. With time, now flush of the pocket on the run, a quick stumble, bounces back up, and he'll take off. Slides down at the 25 and a flag for a hit as he was sliding, I believe. We'll get another look at this, but Taylor Cornelius hasn't used his legs much so far this year, but he does right there. Blow to the head. Toronto number one. We'll go up half the distance from the other play. First down for Edmonton. Helmet of Cornelius. First and ten from the Toronto 13. Cornelius dumps it off to Brown. Brown finds his space to the five towards the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown, Edmonton. Kevin Brown gets him on the board. Kelly needs 15 here to keep this drive alive. Far side looking to get it, and he does. Guns it in there. Completion to the veteran, Devaris Daniels. Looking to answer back here. They'll hand it off to the end zone. Touchdown, A.J. Olette answers for the Argos. That's exactly what it was. That's 12,000, he's 80 shy. Intercepted at the 25, all the way back to the house, Purifoy. And Edmonton goes on top, his first. As a member of the Elks, is a big one. And that is up. And no problem for Beatty as the Argos do answer, but only with three. I mean, it's just in your playbook. Get it to him somehow. Here you go. Cornelius in trouble. And boy, the Argos have been bringing the heat all day on Taylor Cornelius. Brandon Barlow gets home and takes him down this time. Minute and 40 seconds to work with for Kelly. Over the middle, completion at midfield. A little bit of room to run here for Phillips. He'll be wrapped up and taken down by Purifoy. But Phillips was thinking about going the distance on a nice completion from Kelly. That's for points, and now the Argos are looking at him. Working quickly here, Kelly escapes. Stays on his feet, looks far side, got a man! Walking it all the way in under, touchdown Toronto! And the Argos go on top late in the first half. What a play from Kelly. Second and 10 now, more pressure from Toronto. They'll get it away to Kyler Moore, breaks the tackle. First down and more. Kyler Moore staying on his feet, eventually wrapped up and tracked down and taken down at the 30 with 16 seconds on the clock. Pretty much straight away. And he knocks it home and and we got a good ball game here oh, on yeah. a Sunday. Last week, Faithful gets it started. Thank you very much for joining us. So this is a quick, high kick, bouncing around. Who's on it? The Argos have it. Elks trying to sneak something in there, but Toronto handles it well. Hail Mary, yeah. She can, she sees you okay for now. Second and 12, Ceresna coming to Kelly, and he's got him. Ceresna around the edge, there's a flag. At the 35. Yeah, I think they're going to call a uh, horse caller. Kelly will be throwing here. Down, finds a man. What a catch. Phillips bounces ball, back ball, up, ball, ball, drops ball. the ball. <laughs> Scary moment there for Phillips. But what a catch as he hauls that one in from Chad Kelly. Kelly turns, gives it to Olette right up the middle again, and he's home. Second major of the game for A.J. Olette. And the Argos extend their lead at Commonwealth. He's got good hair. Straight hair. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good ponytail if he wants. Here's Kelly. Straight in, untouched. For two more. And Toronto climbs on top. 26-17. Julian has it blocked. Couldn't get it away in time. That'll bounce up and out of bounds on the far side of the field. As the Argos, another big play. At the end of the day, they still uh, wear the green and gold. Uh, they're playing a tough, a tough Argos like team it. right now. Uh, a team that I played for and that won the Great Cup last year. So, so far, it's been a good game. 
Back to Olet looking for the end zone again, and he's there. Give him three on the day. AJ Olet, have yourself a day. Kai Loxley in a quarterback, oh and he fumbles, and it's taken away by the Argos. Kai Loxley into the game, fumbles it, and Toronto immediately scoops it up. Things go from bad to worse for the Elks. Beatty, a 16-yard field goal attempt. Got that hold in just in time, and he hammers it through. And the lead grows to 19. Well, welcome to the Canadian Football League, Jarrett Deggy in the preseason from Deggy. And now he comes in with his team down, and he goes over the middle. And if Dunbar held on to that, that's a spectacular catch from Stephen Dunbar. And Deggy wastes no time going down the field. Deggy will try it again. This time they're going to move him out to the right. He stumbles, trying to push ahead. I don't know. The and stop I don't know. Toronto says no to Jared Deggy, and a turnover on downs. Or he was yanked. Towering kick here. Taken by Sims, 58 yarder. Sims trying to find some space. Staying on his feet at the 50. Still going. Not stopped yet. Another big return from CJ Sims. And the Edmonton Elks with 9.34 on the clock, trailing by 19. Finally, with a glimmer of hope. And the Elks in the red zone. Goes back to Lewis, end zone, touchdown, ball popped out. And now it's going to be picked up by the Argos and brought back the other way. Lewis gets back up, comes all the way back down and tracks him down. Now was he in before that ball was stripped out? Yeah, exactly. And did he have possession he across the plane? That penalty turned it around. Kelly throwing here, and that one intercepted. Second one of the game for Purifoy. And he'll take it outside the 35. It was off a deflection. Came down, but there's a flag in the secondary. Back on the four. Bounced up, managed to hang on to it. Deggy intercepted. And the final nail in the coffin from the Argos. It's Mechie, a 15-yard pick six. 42-17, and the Boo Birds are out at Commonwealth. Run, Smith! Sims to the 20. Trying to find some space, cuts it back. And now to the far side of the field, he's got something cooking. Down to the 50, CJ Sims to the 40. Still going, and finally they push him out of bounds. But the third great return of the day for CJ Sims. This time working the shotgun, Daggy. Spins. Has some room, has a man. Down as he'll dump it into the hands of Vincent Forbes and blow his first catch of the game and the first touchdown of his career. They, they aren't. They, their defense is. The defense got to figure out a way to stop the run, that's for sure. Sims takes this one and is wrapped up before he could really get those legs churning just outside the 25. Run, run. Daggy escapes from the pocket, avoids being tripped up, and gets hammered as he throws it downfield. Oh. It's caught. Forbes Mumblow bounces into his hands, and how's that for a finish to the game? Second touchdown of the game, 84 yards for 82. <laughs> okay. Mumblow just. <laughs> Oh, surprise, surprise, it, it made it here. And that will do it here at Commonwealth. Toronto Argos take the victory, 43-31. Those guys sensational today, three touchdowns for A.J. Ouellette. Almost 200 yards rushing for the Toronto Argonauts.